Hey clean coders, in this video we're gonna take a look at the love demeter, the pros, the cons and the nice middle ground. So let's just dive in. So first, the love demeter. What is it? Well, the love demeter states an object should only talk with its buddies. So um, this line is bad because we have this class which has car which is its buddy and then the body speaks to the body which speaks to the body which speaks to the body which speaks to the oh, okay that's the method so um yeah so we have this whole thing here uh in the load class so that's bad so why is it bad well it's bad because this line of code can break for many reasons it can break because car changed, it can break because performance changed, or parts changed, or engine changed. Maybe start got renamed to Ignite, maybe we no longer have performance under car, maybe it's like car.engine.start, or car.path.performance.engine.start, it can change in many ways, and it can break in many ways. Um, so, what if we listen to the law of the meter? Well, Bad shit's gonna happen, so what do I mean? Uh, if we adhere to the loft emitter, then we'll have start engine under car, which is nice. But then um, we can say performance.parts.startengine because um, then we will be having a buddy talking to a buddy to get to a function, so we can do that. So we have to do this, and then we have to do this. And only then we can get to the engine.start. So obviously this makes a long call chain and it makes the code more complicated and it adds methods to classes uh, and it's pretty bad. So um, what can we do? We want our code to be resilient, but we don't want this, uh, this long call chains. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get back here. So what we can do is we can make a compromise. So we can do performance dot parts that engine dot start. And this line of code is fragile, but at the very least, it's gonna be only in one place. So anywhere else in our project where we want to start the engine of the car, we can just say car dot start engine. And if the internal structure of the car changed, then our code will break, but at the very least, it will only break here and we will fix it and it wouldn't be all that bad. So this is like a nice compromise. Uh, doing this is no longer adhering to the law of the meter, but, but it's, your code is, it makes your code more resilient and you don't suffer from the long call chains. So the basic key point to take from it is when you have like this body communicating with a body, which communicates with a body, um, and you see that code repeatedly over the code, um, you do want to extract a method of, out of it, so it'll make your code more resilient. Um, not go all the full way with the law of the meter, which makes you very resilient, but makes your code a little bit funky. Um, that's the thing to take from this video and that's all I have to say about the loft meter. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, pretty please, uh, <laughs> like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, use the comment section and yeah, until next time.